You might secretly be straight this whole time. For this is, but what this is, is a mukbang? Isn't it pronounced mukbang? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're just gonna say mukbang. Oh, but now we seem uncultured. So, McDonald's has some sort of deal going on today. I needed to bring Holly with me because I was too scared to order myself because I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> Yay for social anxiety! <laughs> Basically, it's a meal for four, so there's two extra value meals, two happy meals, but we're gonna split it between two of us. So I got a Big Mac, fries, and chicken nuggets. So I got the six-piece chicken nuggets, but for the happy meal, I got a cheeseburger, I think. <gasps> Yogurt! Oh. Do they do toys? Oh, they do! <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> it's Mario! I got Peach! Mario? It's Mario! Mario, where I'm from. What country are we in right now? What language do we speak? Freaking yogurts! Oh my god, you fingered all of my food. Oh. Q&A. Oh! McBang. McBang, McBong, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you guys asked us a bunch of questions on our Instagram yes. today. Uh, follow us if you aren't already following us. Yes. And we're gonna be taking a look at them. Anyone else think that sweet and sour sauce tastes like cinnamon? You just lost so many fans. <laughs> <laughs> Still more than you. What kind of accent is the accent Holly speaks in? And I, I guess an English one. Very faded, because uh, I've been here for so long, but English. We hear a lot of different things, like Australian is a really common one. People just say things, I feel. Mm -hmm. They're like, are you from Scotland? I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? It's a Scottish accent. Say no, like a Scotsman. No. That, do you know what, that was good. Oh, thank you. Fair play. <laughs> <laughs> I almost hurt myself. <laughs> we got a lot of questions, guys. We got lots. Well done. I'm just reading. All of them are, when are you getting married? What's your ideal? Age? Yeah. Uh, 28. Tw uh, 27. 27. What would you like to be? Tomorrow. Actually? What is Holly's favorite meal? Cage? Wait. Oh, is that what that <laughs> <laughs> This is why grammar is important. <gasps> Stay in school. <laughs> What's your biggest pet peeve? Of me. That's hard. <laughs> There's so many. <laughs> you have a very hard time admitting when you're wrong. But I will say you're improving. You're improving. You're very stubborn. Stubborn, I'll take But sometimes I really like that you're stubborn. When is a time that I've been stubborn that you've enjoyed it? I don't know, we'd have to look way back. <laughs> what about you for me? You're mess. I'm not even that messy. You are. There will be something this big mm -hmm. that she's salt and peppering, but she'll salt mm -hmm. and pepper it up here. Okay. And just a shower everywhere. There's a fork that she like used once to like taste something and left it on the counter. Now it's dripping and take things out of the sink and move them, but it's like drip, 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 drip okay. all the way. I think they get it. What is one thing that has helped you through life that you wouldn't change? Being gay. Oh, good one. I was gonna say heartbreak. Oh, that's a good number two. Mm -hmm. hmm. Well then. I'm a type one diabetic and I was wondering how old Paige was when she was diagnosed. I was 20 years old when I was diagnosed. Uh, so I've been type 1 diabetic for three years. You guys are always wondering about the patch on my arm. There's a needle in the center that goes right into my blood and I'm able to scan my blood sugars to be able to check my sugar levels without having to regularly prick my finger like most diabetics would have to do. I don't ever notice it unless somebody really points it out. Um, in the YouTube comments. Good job guys, well done. <laughs> I do think that we should make a video eventually, like going more into detail about diabetes mm -hmm. and what your life is like. And we have some really cute stories of when we first started. Yeah, we'll make a separate video, kind of going over all that. Describe me in three words. Sexy, smart, stubborn. <gasps> Damn, son. Oh my God, so smooth. <sighs> well done. I just felt an electric volt go through my <laughs> limbs. <laughs> And just like that, she's right back to the girl. <laughs> 
Do you call each other babe? All the time. Mm -hmm. Baby and babe are probably our most common ones. It depends. If we're mad at each other, instead of being mad at each other, we're like, you sugar dumpling. Yeah. <laughs> My sweet croissant lemon cake. <laughs> it's always like, the, and like people will be like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> girl is dating another girl. One of them does not want to come out to their family. Mm. She's saying, what does she do as a person who is out? Because you were in that position with me. When we first started, I was not out to my family, but you had been out for years. Yeah. The most important thing is not to pressure that person. Yeah. Just because you've done something and you were able to do it doesn't mean somebody else is ready. That's a huge step to take. Mm -hmm. For something so monumental as coming out, it's not for anyone else to decide when or how you should do it. That should be on your own. To have a supporting partner is the best thing. Comment down below if you guys would be interested in sort of an advice type video and we'll dedicate a whole video towards answering your questions around that topic. Favorite type of cheese? My favorite scooter. Worse than almost any other animal byproduct. <laughs> We just watched that the other day. <laughs> we did. Ugh, classics. Who is the better driver and why? I'd say I'm safer. I'd say she's definitely better at maneuvering. I would say I have more confidence, but <laughs> you have more patience. Mm. And you need both to be a good driver. Why is Holly always on the left and Paige on the right? We just did it the first time and after that, we didn't want it to confuse you guys. <laughs> you guys always get us mixed up, so we're like, we'll just stay here. I don't want to mess anything up. <laughs> Someone asked the question, since Holly's surgery, has Paige loved her any less? <laughs> <laughs> totally hate that bitch now. <laughs> Tips for a great first kiss. Consent, confidence, nice breath, go with the flow. Do not try and force anything. You know, like watch for the signs. If they aren't feeling it, back the f off. <laughs> had that. Okay, so how you've had that? Yes, people don't know when enough is enough. Oh on you. People coming on to you. I come on to them, they ain't gonna stop me. <laughs> consent, confidence, breath, setting. Hand placement. Take it. Somewhere there. Mm -hmm. Pull the hair a little bit. Do well, not pull their hair for first oh, kiss. Okay, yeah, I brought its first kiss. <laughs> oh. <gasps> Second kiss though. If we had kids, who would house the baby? <laughs> who would be pregnant? Don't ever real? say that first part again. <laughs> I would like to have two kids. I carry the first one and you carry the second one. Mm -hmm. But if you had it your way, you'd never have anything pop out of there in your life. No. But you're gonna do it. I know. And I'd get to eat for two, as I've just done with <laughs> no baby in the stomach. What would you do if we just popped out triplets? Would you still want me to have another? No. <laughs> and I would sh and I would cry. <laughs> no. Every orifice in my body would excrete something if that happened. <laughs> I could honestly say I've never been more dry than right now. <laughs> Who is better in bed? Do you have any tattoos? I don't. I'm tattoo free. Why well, put a sticker on a Lamborghini? <laughs> Paige? <laughs> Break it up with you right now. I have a tattoo about my freaking disease. So how you feeling now with the Lamborghini, you bitch? <laughs> did either of you date guys before you found each other? Yes. Yes, we both did. Holly more recently than me, but. <laughs> Just throw me right under the bus. You might secretly be straight this whole time. <laughs> uh, the difference between dating guys versus girls, physically and emotionally. For me personally, I found it easier to communicate and let my walls down with women than men. I found it took a long time, if at all, for my walls to come down with guys. Physically, a lot better with girls than with men. So, what did I say wrong there? Nothing, I just hate being in with anybody, especially men. I'm the same with you. I think the connection with girls is easier. I feel like you're able to relate a lot more on different things and you just understand each other a lot more. I feel like men to me are just like this mysterious species of cluster of cells. I find both of us can appreciate when a man is attractive. Yeah, I just don't want to sleep with them. Yeah. That's funny. They don't deserve this. They don't. Who's your celebrity crush? Justin Bieber, 100%. I. You're just but, talking about how you're not attracted to men. Okay, but he's the exception to the rule. Not because he looks like a woman. 2015 Justin could get it, let me tell you though. 
Stop objectifying him. <laughs> Savage. Someone asked the question, Abby or Paige? <laughs> You're messed up, Abby. <laughs> it was right. You have absolutely nothing else to offer. And when my eyes are closed, I see you for what you truly are, which is ugly. We're done. Do you play any instruments? No. You set yourself up for this book. I didn't. Yes, you did. You want your fans back that you lost with the sweet and sour. <laughs> I learned piano. I can. I play guitar. I can play ukulele. Can you adopt me? Yes. 100%. Come on in. Mama's home. I don't know what I'm yeah. Mama's home. <laughs> Everybody unsubscribe. <laughs> yeah. well, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.